and Vikings. I'm Haley Brandstetter. And I'm Ava Laird. And you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. The Shawnee County Sheriff's Office will be increasing traffic enforcement efforts around the Shawnee County area as a part of the SAFE. Fan clothing orders for baseball and softball are now up and going. Go check it out and see if there's anything you want. Seniors, do you plan on becoming an elementary school education major? If so, see Mrs. Ross ASAP to find out about a new renewable $1,000 scholarship opportunity. Calling all artists, musicians, painters, writers, sculptors, poets, singers, and photographers in grades 6 through 12. The Kansas Partners in Empowering Youth for Suicide Prevention believe that every young person deserves to be safe from suicide. So, pull out your pen and paper, reach for your guitar and mic, and grab your favorite art supplies and let your voice be heard. All submissions are due by April 4th. Congratulations to Renee Cabrera, who was selected as the Kansas State FCCLA President. Viking Brew is now selling smoothies in addition to coffee. Be sure to check these out. Seaman Girls Basketball Team hosts Topeka West tonight at 7 p.m. Congratulations to both our boys and girls bowling teams. Both squads won regional championships last Friday afternoon at Gage Bowl. Both teams will be competing at state this Thursday. Wish them luck. Seaman Boys Basketball hosts Emporia on Wednesday, March 3rd at 7 p.m. Savannah Reeves caught up with Interact Club. Let's check it out. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mr. Collins and he's going to tell you about the Interact March Service Project. Thank you. We're excited about the opportunity to return um, fully in person and as such uh, we, we've kind of been on sabbatical for a little bit uh, due to the pandemic and uh, in our search for a project to do over the course of the month of March we discovered that North Topeka Outreach has a big downturn in donations. They provide the backpack meals for students in our district and we want to try and close the gap a little bit by creating a fundraiser. So beginning Thursday Thursday in CLP, each CLP teacher will have a pot of gold. The CLP that raises the most money during the month of March, so obviously we'll take a break during spring break, we will come back and we will collect through the rest of March. The CLP that raises the most money will get a pizza party in April, courtesy of Interact. Is that it? I think that that's pretty much it. It, it. This is an important thing because we have a lot of students that are struggling in the district that are in need of money and, and other items that are collected through the backpack program. So everybody's participation is welcome. Thank you for that, Mr. Collins. Now back to your anchors. Awesome. Now to Zoe with your weather. Vikings. Some good news is, is that the sun is going to be sticking around for a, the next couple of weeks. Today is National Read Across America today, so make sure to read a book. Today our temperatures are going to be getting quite warmer with our temperatures being up in the 60s by this afternoon. For your SVTV 7 day forecast, our temperatures are going just to continue to get warmer with our temperatures reaching up possibly into the 70s to start next week. Now back to your anchors. That's all for today, Vikes.